Hi class, welcome to Staffing Organizations. I'm delighted to get to work with you this uh, semester, albeit somewhat remotely over these lecture recordings. The goal of this unit is to prepare you to fight and win the war for talent. Organizations live, die, and prosper on the basis of their human capital. Not always and not exclusively, of course, but Nevertheless, we have seen decades of evidence showing that the quality of human capital makes a world of difference for the, pro the productivity and the survivability of an organization. So this unit will equip you with the fundamental skill sets needed for finding, choosing, and keeping the best fitting person for any given job. Yeah? Uh, these three processes, recruitment, selection, and retention respectively, fall under the rubric of staffing yeah so recruitment is finding the right people for the job and shepherding them through the application process selection is choosing people on the basis of reliable effective and useful selection tools retention is keeping the right people productive and reliable people in the organization yeah now who is this unit for? Many of you taking this unit presumably are students in the HR major, and uh, in, in which case you will know that staffing is a fundamental HR function. Whether you are a recruitment specialist or an HR generalist, you will need to know your staffing inside out. But this unit has even broader utility for anyone who is a manager. Yeah, those of you with some work experience already will have realized that many of these basic HR functions are also implemented often by non-HR line managers. Yeah, line managers are often directly involved in the staffing process yeah, in the recruitment and selection process. They often conduct interviews themselves. They often make key selection decisions and they play a major role in you know, retaining talent in the long term. So really, this unit is for everyone who is or wants to be a manager, not just a, an HR officer of some kind. Yeah. Now, uh, who am I? Who is the, the disembodied head at the edge of your screen? So, uh, hi, I'm Rajiv Amarnani. You can call me Raj, Rajiv, or R.A. I'm an assistant professor here at UWA. Uh, I have a PhD in, in uh, org behavior from the ANU. Before all that, I worked in uh, market research and leadership training. My research at the uni focuses on service gone wild, which is anything and everything that goes wrong in customer service. My recent work in this space uh, looks at why some service workers get yelled at or, or, or mistreated more than others. My second area is um, career development, so how people climb up the career ladder, basically. And lastly, I do research on the aging workforce and how people's uh, needs and values change as they approach and cross the threshold of retirement. I uh, regularly take on honor students, and so if you're interested in having a chat about honors, whether with me or anyone else, just have a, a conversation about honors, feel free to reach out and uh, let me know. Yeah. This unit has a recommended uh, but non-required textbook, the, the Gatewood et al. Textwood, uh, textbook, Human Resource Selection, 8th edition. Um, this textbook has been used over the past couple years, so you, I, I suspect if you wanted a second-hand copy, it would not be altogether too difficult. If you wanted to use the older 7th edition, that would be fine. Uh, most of the content is the same. It's been updated somewhat, but for the purposes of the unit, it shouldn't make a big difference. Uh, the chapters are rearranged if you decide to use the 7th edition. It's a common gimmick these uh, textbook manufacturers uh, uh, run. Yeah, So if you were to go with the 7th ed edition, just be aware that the textbook chapters are in a somewhat different order. Yeah, whatever. I either textbook should be fine. It's recommended but not required class. Mm. Now, here we have the unit schedule. Yeah, if you if you want to see the schedule um, in more detail, it's also on LMS in the unit outline. Now, class, 
our unit has a slightly unconventional structure in that we cover the hardest and toughest topics early in the semester. Yeah. So today we're going to start things off gently with an introduction. However, in week two, next week, we will hit the ground running with a coverage of job analysis. Yeah. So how we break down the contents and processes of a job to inform the selection process. Then in week three, we cover the hardest topics in the in the unit, HR measurement. Yeah, this topic is relatively challenging and will also directly inform the next five to six uh, weeks of the unit, which cover uh, the broad range of selection tools um, over weeks four to eight. Yeah, now week three really is is uh, genuinely tough so you're going to want to prepare and do some reading either in advance or maybe you can watch the lecture and then do some reading after but yeah this is a fairly tough topic that is also critical it lays the foundation for the following week so you're going to want to really get a handle on uh, the week three topics then in weeks nine and ten we move on to recruitment and retention respectively Week 11 will likely include a guest lecture, but it'll have to be done over Zoom since this whole thing is over, it's all online this semester. So I will let you know how that's going to go. Um, lastly, in week 12, we will flip the script and focus on uh, how, to, how to help you get the jobs and careers you want. So you'll be on the other side of the recruitment and selection table. Yeah, How do you get to the places you want to be career-wise? Now, class, notice that tutorials start in week three, and then they continue on from there. Uh, the purpose of tutorials is not to recap the lecture, but rather to, to give you opportunities to put these uh, staffing skills into practice, while also preparing you for the major assessments in the unit. Mm. Now, let's talk assessments, class. 10% of your marks will come from tutorial participation. Uh, the other 10%, uh, from two quizzes that will be uh, up in LMS, yeah, in weeks 7 and 12, I believe. The major assessment in the unit, the selection package, is worth 30% of your marks. And the final exam is worth half. So let's go through these in detail, yeah. Now, tutorial participation will be allocated in every tutorial, so you're going to want to rock up, you're going to want to be there, yeah? Uh, the mark is about one mark per tutorial. You get half a mark just for showing up, yeah? Being generous here, so half a mark just for showing up, uh, though you do lose some marks for being late. Um, the other half of uh, the mark for tutorial participation comes from actually participating in the exercises that you'll do and in the class discussion. By the way, class, the tutorial pack is already up on LMS, so be sure to come with copies of each week's tutorial materials. Yeah, If, if your tutorial is face-to-face, -face, that means please bring printouts. Mm. If you wish to attend one of the other tutorials, generally that's fine. Just be sure to inform me and the tutor just to let us know, hey, I'm going to be showing up to the Thursday tut instead of the Tuesday. Whatever, that's fine. Just let us know. Yeah, and as long as it's relatively occasional. Any other questions, just send me an email class. Next are the two LMS quizzes class. They are worth 5% each, running on week 7 and 12. Yeah, so uh, these are multiple choice quizzes. The quizzes will open on the Monday of the week at 9 a.m. and close on the Friday at 5 p.m. You can take the quiz any time during the week. Uh, however, note that items are drawn from an item bank, so you and your classmates are unlikely to get the same set of questions. You have 20 minutes to complete the quiz and only one attempt. Mm. Next is the major assignment in this class, the selection package, worth 30% of your marks. What you will do here, class, is work out the full selection process for an OHS officer at a mine site. Yeah, you'll do so with a keen eye for the trade-offs involved in designing a selection procedure. You'll be expected, of course, to justify your choices with evidence to the fullest extent possible and provide one example of each technique. 
the deadline tentatively is the 5th of May, which is a Wednesday. However, I'm considering extending that deadline to Friday the 7th of May now that we officially have uh, some tutorials on the Thursday. I want to make sure everyone gets gets a chance to have a tutorial before the deadline. So I may push the I may push um, the final deadline for this assignment to the Friday, May 7. I'll let you know, class. Now, we also run a, an optional draft feedback scheme. Yeah, so all students are invited to send in drafts of their selection package the week before so you can get some early feedback. Yeah, generally in my uh, years of experience with this, uh, the draft feedback scheme has been quite helpful and the students really do get a leg up, uh, an, an advantage, um, having a chance to get some early feedback before they submit the final assignment in earnest. More information about this assignment class, as you would know, presumably is up uh, on LMS under assignment 2. Mm. Lastly, final exam, standard final exam, yeah, mostly using a short answer format, uh, more details to follow, yeah. If you have any questions, class, send me an email, happy to uh, uh, work through any questions, clarifications with you, just let me know. So now, uh, in the uh, next part of this lecture, we will move on to your results uh, in the self-test.